Special mechanic course, you guys are, are going to challenge the exam is what I'm expecting that you're here for and you're trying to get your knowledge up to date and that sort of stuff. Uh, considering this is going to be a very intense course, we're going to move along, we're going to cover a lot of material. Hopefully it, it will be stuff that you recognize through your experience and that sort of stuff so we'll be able to want it. Stop me whenever you have to and ask me the questions. Don't let us go over something um, and then try to catch up with us later. It's better off that we can um, pace ourselves and if we have to stay an extra hour a night, I don't mind doing that. So don't be shy or asking questions. So I'm Larry Keating. Um, I'm a licensed, you know, right, uh, licensed uh, machinist licensed production equipment mechanic. So I've been through, I just retired, so that's what I'm doing now is trying to pass on some of that experience that I've gained through the years. Had a lot of people help me, and again, that's why I'm here, to help you guys. Your books, um, I picked those books, they're American books. So there's a few things I'll be telling you about that as we go about what the Americans are saying or using for um, reference and what we're going to do. Seeing we're in Canada, we're going to write exams in Canada, then we'll be worried about what our coverage is instead of those. And I'll point them out as we go along. But the main things I found people struggle with is hydraulics and pneumatics. And this book is one of the better ones. A lot of colored illustrations to tell you what's, you know, what's what. Really good illustrations to help you through and see what's what it offers. Uh, workbook actually will help you work through some of those problems and some of the questions that they have you. Now, again, it's about 50% that's really relevant. I'll try to point out which ones to um, spend your time on, which ones not to. I'll also try to help you out um, with questions that are going to be uh, more familiar to you. So we'll do that. Um, Maybe we won't do that. Um, I can go on with, with the introduction and that sort of stuff and try to do the whiteboard. We won't, without one of those, um, I'm going to be, we're going to be uh, struck. You can follow along. I gave you this welcome introduction uh, <coughs> page. So, really, what this is all about. Um, for the orientation part, uh, there's a bathroom right here. So if you have to use a washroom, it's right here. In case of a fire, when you go out in the hallway, either side you exit on, it's going to give you a way out. We're on the 10th floor, so you're going to be on 10 floors, meet out front, and make sure you find me. Because if someone comes and asks how many people were here in this room, I got to count for you and I want to be able to see you. So just look for me out of the front of the hotel because the fire department will come and ask if everyone's out. Um, there is a place to have lunch, which will be, um, you know, if you brown, brown bag it, bring your own lunch, I think there's a place to do it, or we can eat in a room. There's only three of us, and we got this room, so we don't really have to go too far. If there's more people, there is a cafeteria or something downstairs, but uh, I'll find out more about that, because I haven't been there myself. I just, just flew in. So. Um, Any questions? We will be, uh, Larry, focusing more on what's on the actual test, will we? Yes. I mean, they, I purchased the modules, and there's just so much material. I mean, how could a guy go through all that material and try to focus? We're going to go through most of it. Yeah. But we'll concentrate on where you want to, where, where you want to retain the knowledge. <coughs> Um, like I have lots of questions for you to do your review. Have you got your date of when you're writing? In June. In June? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll have there will be a ago. lot of reference material for you to use when you're getting that. Have you got your... Actually, I have no really stuff to do. I want to focus on this course first. Then, then I'll choose the date. Okay. And you'll see when the material I give you, all of it's good, but I'll specify what to um, 
what to concentrate on for your exam. And and most people, that's why they take this course, is you know, we, we want to make sure we're well-rounded, but we, we pinpoint the areas that we have to spend on. <clears throat> now, uh, I don't know what it is about Alberta. As soon as I get here, my throat gets sore, and my eyes start to run, and that sort of stuff, so I will. You may see me rubbing my eyes, and, yeah. and I'm going to eat a few of these candies. If I mumble at all, please stop me. I'll punch through it, and I'll get back. But um, I got a bunch of cough drops in my pocket, because I know every time I come here, <clears throat> I don't know if it's an ear that's dry or whatever. Getting back to introductions, uh, I worked in the sugar industry for 20 plus years. I worked in a canning facility for meats. Um, worked in a, a baking facility where we cut, wrapped, and packaged the uh, meat. Then I worked in a bread facility, all with the same company, the last three. So I got a fair amount of experience, and in my first roles, um, I could work in powerhouses and everything else. So I, I know my hands have been on pretty much everything that I'm going to be talking about. So don't be afraid to ask. I'll try to throw some experiences in there too, which might make it easier. So where's your like? What's your experience been? Where you've been working and that sort of stuff? I've been working at uh, meatpacking plant out in Brooks for probably for the last 15 years uh, as a, as a mechanic out there. And within the last four or five years, I decided to pursue my ticket, just sort of greater age, greater job security type thing. And I did challenge it at the Red Seal. A couple of years ago, when I got that uh, 64, I said, you know what, forget it, right? And then I came across your course. I said, I'm going to give it another go. You could, you could be a, a big help to me, big assistance. As we're going through this stuff, and anything pops in your mind that says, hey, yeah, that, that reminds me of something, point it out. It will give me just to make sure that I've got the right material and also give you guys something that. Have you ever challenged before? No. Okay, so you're going to be going no, on the first time. Because I'm new to Canada. Mm -hmm. I came seven months ago. So back home, I was working with a food production company and I was an operator. So I'm also a mechanical technician. So operating and also involved in the production and technician processes. So really, uh, the heavy duty work on me, right? I've not been involved in that because the machines we operate is the high speed machines. So it just have the hydraulic and pneumatic systems and some electronics because it's semi mechatronics has to do with mechanic and electronics components. So really I've not really challenged the exam before. So, so that is why I want to really go for this course. Okay, so as you go through this Again, stop me if something doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense and you go back to review it, it won't make sense then either. Uh, I gave you my card, um, but as we go through this and before we finish, I'm going to give you my email and my home number. So if you have to get, contact me before you write your exam and you have questions, you're going through the review and all the other stuff and you don't feel quite comfortable with this section or the other, call me. Uh, for example, I just spent two hours yesterday on the phone with a fellow that's writing next Tuesday, or tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow. So I don't mind doing that. That's, you know, I, I, if you have questions and you, you, you got concerns, give me a call. Again, that's, I've had lots of people help me through the years get my trades, yeah. and that's what I'm trying to do, the same thing, because that's what you, that's what we have to do. Yeah. When you guys get your trade, same thing. And just remember where we are today, yeah. and the people that are coming behind you, pass on that information because a lot of times you work with people who want you to learn with the school of hard knocks that's not really always the best way to learn so anyway um so the course online you get your textbook we're going to follow the textbook through chapters 1 through 20. some chapters don't go in full detail of all the things you're going to have to know so i have a whole bunch of handouts for you as we go uh, each of these slides, I just have a copy of them. You can mark on the slides. As we go through the slides from the chapters, and you can follow through with your book, highlight some, some notes in the book so when you go back to study, you, know, you can concentrate on them. You'll have questions on them, but you may want to be able to reference the textbook just to go back and do it. Again, the reason I, I use this textbook, nice colored illustrations. For myself, when I was doing things, I like to have a visual picture of things. 
rather than just read through a textbook. So I found this one um, pretty decent. Um, so course expectations, we already, I, I think I've got a feel for you, what you're looking for. You're looking for direction on where that knowledge base should be. Um, what I also do here is I got up here a parking lot. So if you ask me a question, and I know we're going to cover it in a few chapters or whatever, I'm going to write it up here so when we get to it, I'll ask you, does that satisfy what you need to do? So ask the questions. If I know it's coming or we're going to deal with it another time, we'll put it here, but then we'll, go, we'll review this to make sure everything gets knocked off of it. So any questions, any that sort of stuff, make sure we put it on the parking lot. That's what the parking lot's for. So red seal requirements on that handout, each province gets together and uh, I was part of the province of New Brunswick and we laid out what we required in the province. Quebec, all the provinces across Canada all did the same thing. They went and said, okay, this is what we require in our province. So there's a core set of questions and that, sort of, that core set is probably about 70, 60 to 70% of the exam. The other 30 is allowed to be picked by the province. So if you write in Alberta, you write in Saskatchewan, and I write in New Brunswick, or I write in Ontario, we won't have the same questions. So I try to cover that whole gamut of the questions, so no matter where you write, a lot of people say red sales are red seal. They are provincially um, governed, so that body themselves, so that each province picks the questions for your exam. So there is a database, um, and our first chapter we'll cover will be the um, uh, health and safety, and I'll sort of tell you what the provinces, different provinces sort of concentrate on. But you could get, you could get the same question in probably any province. I think they all get the same database, but they do pick them, so there are different exams out there. You're not gonna get the same one. If you rewrite again, you won't get the same one, probably. Um, I knew what the questions were on them because I, I had gone in for New Brunswick. I was on the board until 2000, so I knew what we had done. When I went to Ontario, I found that they were doing a few other things a little different. Um, so each province, and then in the last year since I've been doing this, I, I found out and it's normally through students like you guys call me up after you write the exam and say, this is, you know, this is what I had on. They asked it in a different way. Might have, we, we went over it, but we didn't sort of dig down into, uh, and I'll give you an example. Um, Alberta here <coughs> doesn't spend too much time on um, masks. Saskatchewan does. Saskatchewan will ask you how to clean them, uh, what's the most important part of them. Here, they don't seem to get into the mass part. So that's, um, I try, I'll cover them all just to make sure that each, each province is represented and that that question gets pulled out of the database. Well, at least you would, we would have talked about it so you have an idea. So not only that, they all wait how many subject matter is on each one. So if you look on that sheet, you'll see that one you got right there now. It's got um, the blocks. So you got block A, which is occupational skills, B, rigging, hoisting, and lifting, C, mechanical components and systems, D, mechanical handling and process systems, uh, E, fluid power, and F, preventive, predictive maintenance, testing, and commissioning. So they, they've taken what each province has actually asked to do them, and they've uh, gone in and set them up 19%, 13%, 26, 19, 11. So the percentage is adding up to 100, and then the questions, how many questions there are is that last column, like there'd be 26 questions on occupational skills. So we're gonna cover that, but on that occupational skills, they might have 100 questions to ask. Pretty much all the same material, they'll just ask it different verbiage or a different way or whatever. So really, all you have to do is understand it and then the question, you'll know the answer to the question. But if you don't quite understand it, memorizing a question and an answer is no value, but to know that knowledge area is 
is what I'm trying to get across. So, then the next page is the, uh, the structure we're going to have for the classroom. We're going to be here today to, I think, 5.30, 6 o'clock. So that's what we'll call our day uh, quits for today. And we're going to, um, each day we're going to go from 8.30 to 5. Each course gets a little different, depends on when we fly in and what days are available and stuff. It's going to be 8.30 to 5 every day. On yours, you probably have only a six hour day, because that was a set, that was planned for a seven day course, and we're, only doing, we're going to do it at six. So today we'll stay till um, six o'clock, we'll say, this evening. And then tomorrow we'll start 8.30, and we'll be finished at five. Now, if we're not quite finished at five, and it goes to 5.30, again, this is this is yours. This you have to get this. This is for you. I'm, I'll stay here if you need to stay till five thirty, six o'clock. I don't mind that. Um, if we get behind or whatever, my objective right now is to get we say we're at day six. At day six on this on your thing is to write your final exam. We're going to be doing that on day five and using day six as a as a. A refresher or going over the test results. Now your final exam is going to be 135 questions, 136. The one I was copying and pasting and stuck in, stuck in the middle of the 36. <laughs> However, I did it, but um, it will be a good opportunity or good reference of what you get on that. You should get on. That's how you should be able to get on. So it, it will be a good test for you to know where you are. So, um, any questions of how they came up with questions, or how they, how they, um, what the expectations are? <coughs> Do we have, I want to ask, we have uh, something like, Ask questions. Uh, maybe possible um, ask questions. Maybe on our own, we can deal with it. Yep. In our own time. You have probably when you leave here after you spend all day here, yeah. go home. I'm going to say you're going to have uh, probably um, two hours worth of work. And again, it depends on how much you want to. Add your 